Naruto Shippuden episode 459. Wow. Great episode. Great episode. First off, animation, flawless. Story, flawless. Kaguya, flawless. Opening, not flawless. Alright, I say the opening not flawless because they forgot Sasuke's Rinnegan and the fact that Kakashi's eye is healed. But the opening, in my opinion, first off, let me talk about the opening. Opening 19. Music good animation for that opening was fucking delicious and there's a point in the and there's a point in the um opening where sakura punches a a, a black zetsu version of hinata a black zetsu blob version of hinata and i i was like when i saw that i was like yo i know all the sakura tards you know why i call them sakura tards because not 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 sakura fans but sakura tards there's a difference uh, i'll explain the difference in a little bit but all the Sakura Tards are gonna be like, oh yes, that's what fucking you not to get. All right, so let me explain the difference. A Sakura fan is someone who likes Sakura, likes the character, likes what they do in the series. A Sakura Tard is someone who likes Sakura but has to bash Hinata in the process, just like a Hinata Tard is someone who likes Hinata but has to bash Sakura in the process, and a Hinata fan is someone who likes Hinata and what she does in the series and all that. So I'm a fan of both females, but I was like, yeah, I know, I know all the Sakura Tards are gonna be like, oh, yes, fuck Hinata, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all the Hinata Tards are gonna be like, why, why they got Sakura punching Hinata? No, Hinata's bae, no! Come on, re relax. And I believe also, Kakashi was fighting Guy or Lee. I think it was Lee, because the way he kicked looked more like Lee than Guy. While Naruto was just dazed from all the filler he's been in. But this episode was so good in my opinion. The animation seems to be stepped up. Hopefully they can keep it through this whole entire Kaguya arc until the next final arc. Spoilers, the final arc Naruto versus Sasuke and everything. Hopefully they keep this animation. Oh man, hopefully they keep this animation. I, don't, I highly doubt this is the last opening, by the way. That opening 19. I, I, I feel like they're either going to add to opening 19 for the Naruto versus Sasuke fight. Hopefully they fix the Renegon on Sasuke's eye. I don't really care about Kakashi's eye being open or not. But uh, hopefully they fix the Renegon. And yeah, like, come on. But I just want to, I just, uh, this episode just, it's so beautiful. It was so well done. I love, I love Sakura, Sasuke, and Naruto's reactions to Kaguya whenever Kaguya was near them, close to them, and like, like, a few feet away from them. I love, first off, Sakura, she was so scared. She was shook. She was so fucking shook when she saw Kaguya right next to her. She just, she turned around so slowly, just, just, ooh! And then Sasuke and Naruto, when Kaguya appeared behind them, like, they just turned around so slowly, all scared the same way Sakura did. And then she just, she felt their chin like, come, come, come bitches, you don't have any peach fuzz. Oh, my sons, I love you, but I hate you. Let me take your chakra. That shit was so delicious to me, man. I, this episode, brilliant. Studio Periot did it well. I'm, yo, all that filler we've been through. Last week's, ep the end of last week's episode, the second half of last week's episode, and this episode combined, perfect, best Naruto episode of 2016, hands down, hands down, best Naruto episode, best animated in my opinion, oh, maybe this is the Dragon Ball Super fan in me as well, because Dragon Ball Super, as we know, have has had some crappy animation in the past, but the animation is getting better, and I'm liking the anime. I, I'm not one to complain or, like, dick suck the animation too much, but, man, from all the, the crappy animations we've been getting, this is flawless. This is beautiful. Especially that in opening. I'm, the opening grew on me. At first, I'm like, yo, this is so short, but then I'm like, yo, that's a nice-ass opening. Like, the more I watch it, the better it gets to me. But, oh, my goodness, yo. It was just... 
It's crazy, but once again, the flaws in the, the intro, the opening, is Sasuke without the Renegon. Meanwhile, Sa Naruto has his six pass power, so it makes it makes Naruto look a lot stronger than Sasuke, which I don't like that because I, li I like them being on evil, I even terms during this, especially during this arc. It makes the most sense. But yeah, when Sasuke... I don't know... When Sasuke grabbed, like, when, when Sasuke was falling into lava and he teleported behind Naruto and elbowed him in the back to stop him and then grabbed on his foot and was like, even Susano doesn't work. I was like, aw. It, it, it just made me aw. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why the way Sasuke said that just made me fucking aw. It sounded like a child, just like, oh. just like, mommy, can I watch TV? Like, I don't know. It felt like that. It felt like that. But, like, oh. Oh my goodness, this episode has me fanboying. It makes me remember why I am a fan of Naruto Shippuden, man. It's been a long, a long time since I've had an episode like this. I've seen an episode like this. Itachi Shinnin was great, a great filler arc. But like I said, it was irrelevant to the story at the time. But I mean, it's canon, technically, because it was in a novel, even though Kishimoto didn't write it. He approved it. So it's canon. Anything that the author approves, in my opinion, is canon. It doesn't have to be written by him. If it's approved by him, it's canon. If it's approved to be canon by him, it's canon. But, I mean, if he if he approves it and is like, yeah, it could be some filler, then it's obviously filler, but whatever. But, Itachi Shinden was good. The last few episodes of Itachi Shinden was lackluster, but the beginning of Itachi Shinden, the first few episodes of Itachi Shinden, I'd say the last two or three episodes of Itachi Shinden, the last two or three episodes of Itachi Shinden was eh iffy but they were all right i like the last episode because you well not the last episode the last part going into that canon episode of last week because it, it got i liked going into the mind of Sa itachi during all his shit that we've seen him doing like when he was uh when he broke sasuke's arm and everything in that hospital in part one and everything by the way did you guys know that that hospital the, the rooftop naruto and sasuke fall on is actually in storm four like, it's not a map. It's like, you can see it in the Hokage Mansion map. If you look to the left, the top left. I'll probably put a, like, screenshot or gameplay on it. Like, in the video. I know there's gonna be gameplay behind this or something, but... Yeah, that episode was brilliant to me, man. When Kaguya just switched dimensions, she was just like, whoop! The lava looks so beautiful. Pristine! Ugh! Like, just Kaguya just... Kaguya did work. Oh, uh, but... Oh, I man. I, I love that episode, guys. I I can't get enough. Like I'm, I watched it twice. That's the only episode I've ever watched twice within like two minutes. <laughs> like like I took after I watched the episode, I was hyped about it. Went on YouTube, looked up the YouTube, looked up the intro, looked up Uzumaki Khan to see if he did a reaction on it yet. Because I I just enjoy watching him because he doesn't he didn't read the manga and I'm like I'm like boy. Ah, I just want to see his reactions to all the shit that goes down. Like, but yo, that <sighs> amazing arc, son. I know he's not even gonna want to watch the intro, but it's not even a spoiler intro because that fight with all the Black Zetsus, I don't believe happens. I might be wrong because I didn't really read the manga up to the. I didn't read the manga at the Kage arc, I read, but I knew about what happened with Kage and everything, especially from Storm Four. But, <laughs> but yeah, that I I'm kind of glad I didn't read the manga in detail because. All these little bits and pieces are coming together within the episode. I read, the, I know what happens and everything, but all the little bits and pieces come together within these episodes. Like, oh man, tell me what you guys thought in the comment section, man, because that episode was brilliant, brilliantly made, man, brilliantly made, in my opinion, in my honestly opinion, honest opinion. Episode was brilliant, flawless episode. There were some moments of a little lackluster animation, a little, like, like two seconds of lackluster animation, but not really, not really, you know, fuck that, fuck that bullshit. I mean, Kaguya's face at some point did look weird, but at the same time, no, just, it, it was beautiful. Uh, oh my goodness, that, that episode was, that, that episode was great. I'm so I'm just so flabbergasted guys I can't I can't speak <laughs> like oh man this is not a I don't usually do reviews on episodes but this episode just got me so hype it got me realizing why I love Naruto Shippuden and the next episode is gonna be a little filler a little filler a little Kage arc and I know a lot of people are complaining oh we're back in filler already blah 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 but we need this 
We need that. We need next week's episode to be about Kaguya because we don't know shit about Kaguya in reality. Kishimoto did not flesh out her character. If we didn't just come from filler, then everyone will be welcoming this. Honestly, if we didn't just come from filler, I believe everyone will welcome this this arc, this little Kaguya arc. And it's like one or two episodes. Who cares? One or two episodes, and then we're right back into the Kaguya and Naruto Sasuke. Team, Nar Kaguya versus Team 7 fight, basically. But, uh... Oh, man. This episode was crazy, guys. Tell me what you guys' opinion is. And please like, favorite, comment, subscribe if you're nasty. Peace, legends. Also, the soundtrack was magically delicious. Kaguya versus Naruto in that little clash they did. Boss. Boss.